So, this is part two of the subframe rest up. What I'm currently doing is, yesterday I was thinking to myself, you know what, I've got the subframe out. I might as well take the fuel tank straps off and clean them up a bit because they look a bit grimy. So, what I've done here is, while I weld them down a bit, clean them up. This one, I've already painted, cleaned up and after. Voila, that's how it's meant to look, matte black. And I'm going to do the same with this one. I don't know if you're going to notice, but I'm on a new camera, so the camera is probably going to be better. I don't know about the audio, but we'll find out, I guess. So I'm going to just roll up this one because there's a few imperfections. And yeah, I will update after. So, update. Both straps have been sorted out and painted just to stop the rust from coming back ever, hopefully and um, yeah I'm just waiting for them to dry now I'm gonna tackle I actually thought this was what I welded yesterday but it's actually this you can't even tell it's there wow um, but yeah I'm gonna smooth this out today and then I'm gonna pressure wash the subframe and then clean it up and then give it a lick of hammer right and make it look somewhat nice again I'll try anyway but yeah, we'll see from then. Let me patch this up, uh, grind it up, and see how it comes out. So, another progress update. Um, I've got the fuel tank straps in, and I've got the pint, did that pint, prepped it, painted it, and undersealed it. So, let me show y'all. Just did the first coat of underseal. Sticky stuff. And the fuel tank straps are in. So they're looking fresh, all bolted in. This is looking fresh with the under seal and stuff. So I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry, do a couple more coats. And um, what I'm gonna do in between that is sort this out, because I don't want that to stay like that. And then I'm gonna bring the pressure washer, which is already here. And I'm gonna wash the subframe and hammer it in. I actually didn't get any black hammer right, I've got red. So, smooth red, I might bang some glitter onto it because I've got a can left, but who knows. And then put the bushings in after with the lithium grease and then we'll be on the way really. So I'll update you again um, on when I get this done and I'll record the painting separate. I'll make a little time lapse for the painting so we'll be back again in a little bit. So. Another update, I've just washed the subframe. Looking a bit cleaner. Um, and then, honestly, I'm not even gonna bother with the rest. I'm just gonna go hammer out over it with a paintbrush. Maybe add some sparkle, put the bushings in, put the subframe back in the car. And um, after it's back in the car, I'm gonna paint the underneath because obviously I can't get to the underneath now. Um, and it's, it's simply too heavy to prop upside down and stuff like that. I'd rather just do it from underneath the car that way and add some, some sparkle and stuff as well. Well yeah, it's not looking too shabby, the rust repair. So with that spot, it didn't really come out too well, but it did come out. That spot, invisible, so I didn't really bother with that one because the axis was kind of weird and because of the handbrake cable, I didn't want to touch anything and damage something, so yeah, we got that sorted, so now I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can paint it. Peace! Purchase your tracks now. So, the first part is done, 
It obviously doesn't look the best because it's brush painted, but better than the crusty old metal look. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm still undecided on whether I'm going to do the bottom. I think I might just underseal the bottom. So I'm just going to do the top. Maybe do another coat and then um, call it a day regarding paint. But there's really no point. I don't want it to be super flashy and stuff. I mean, it is now, but I didn't really mean it to stand out like this. So I'm going to probably underseal it at the bottom and call it a day. So that's the plan. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to underseal it from the bottom and yeah just make it somewhat rust proof that's the that's the aim not aesthetic it's more rust proof and then dealing with British weather so it doesn't rust again so that's the aim that's the plan that's what I'm going to do so I might as well so we'll see what I go on and yeah peace out So, I'm back, and I've painted the subframe. Let me just turn the music down due to copyright reasons, la 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 la, okay. Yeah, painted the subframe, not very well. Left this out, left that out. What about the spots I left out? But, at the end of the day, this is just to stop impact damage from rocks and stuff like that. Because it looks, it still looks pretty cool. So, um, I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. I have, in the meantime, undersealed. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. And on the other side, right there, somewhere, yeah, by the stud. Yeah, I've undersealed that. That's done. So now I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. And then I need to hammer the inserts in for the bushes. And then it's pretty much fair game. I mean, I'm done then. So then the subframe just goes back in the car. So that's all I'm waiting for now is for it to dry so I can hammer the inserts in. And then we be done. So yeah. See you in a bit. So I'm back after torturing myself trying to get these stupid metal sleeves in I managed to get one and two in and I've got a trick for if your sleeves are really hard to get in I've tried lubing them up with grease and I've tried it with washing up liquid and nothing would do it so what I've done is with the ground I've just smoothed that out so it's not a sharp edge like this just to push it in and that seems to work out I've worked a dream I can honestly get them in super easy now so that's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna try and get the other ones in uh, and yeah it's really easy So after a small injury, after hitting my finger again, ah, fuck, we're gonna be back at it. I'm gonna try and get this stupid thing in. This hammer sucks. 